Let's go see what this is all about. Please, last room. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> Well, they're just a bunch of bullies. It's kind of what it seems like, anyway. I am not scared of you. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Oh, it's because I'm a drow. If it weren't for me, you'd be over on my goblins by now. I'd go where I please, no. Um, what's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. Well, Korga sounds like a jerk. Uh, yeah, you be over on my goblins. Kick back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. If you guys are so tough, why are you so scared and kicking everybody out? Volo. Like, the monster person? Yeah, are you the- Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. <laughs> you were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, <laughs> you saw them up close? Yeah, I did. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. This is the guy who wrote Volo's Guide to Monsters. Yeah. Glory. I <laughs> get him go. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You'd search your mind, Ooh. successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Ooh. Give an exact description. Hardly, they shapeshifted Davos. Goblins, one of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth weaver. This man uh, has no respect for truth. I see. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver? Why are you dragon? asking me when you're making this up? There's a bit of misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question. Then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? They called it out like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the absolute. The scandal. The scandal. Uh, okay. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. Oh, no. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Oh, no. What, what are why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a That's dragon. That's a Tolkien quote, kind Until of. Until we meet again. Uh, Tolkien says something about, uh, all, like, not all good story, but, you know, all... I have the quote somewhere where like it's like dragons improve every story or something. What have you heard? Why are you This bear is like what in tarnation? What in tarnation? If you insist. Can I bother you? In umbram cretus sanguine iuratus. Um Oh shoot, what was I gonna say? It was something about... 
Oh, I can trade with Bo? Hey, wait, come back. I can trade stuff with you. Pardon me. I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Are you gonna die? To the goblets? Uh huh. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be. Okay, I'm gonna try to persuade him against it. Are you the shop person? Okay. Um, oh, I was thinking they replaced their leader fairly quickly, it seems. The druids. Speak. Uh, I'm looking for a healer. Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Doesn't look like you're helping with... Are you helping prepare for the ritual? I would prefer not to. But if Master Helsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. What were you saying to the bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. I'm scared. Ooh, that would have covered it, but... I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. There's no proof to it. And she's wrong? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. That's a good point. Only Master Hulson can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Okay, bye! Tuffet is super cute looking. <gasps> can I talk to the bird? Dang it. Where's this? Where's the person that they want me to go talk to? Here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Gorga? Release her. She stole the idol of Sylvanus. She must pay the price. She's a child. We will imprison the thief under guard of my servant. When we cast out the rest, she may join them. Let the devil be an example. We will tolerate outlanders So they're no just longer. being super the racist. Will be made safe. The circle will be closed. Super racist against the tieflings. That's what everybody's doing. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? She's a child! I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Imprisoner? She's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. There shouldn't really be, like, somebody with that much authority to, like, be a bully like that, I feel like. Like, everybody should be able to be like, hey, no, you're mean. Um, but, I don't know, if they are refugees, like... The problem is, is that, like, poverty breeds crime, right? And so it seems like these kids have, like a, like, a crime ring going, but I also don't know who's running it. Is it an adult who's, like, using them? Or is it another child trying to make their lives better? Are these kids, like, this, this one's obviously, like, got a parent or two over there that were trying to come and get her, you know? 
Um, and I know that they are living into the stereotype of tieflings being criminals, but the problem is that tieflings often aren't allowed to be anything else. Like society won't let them have other, you know, jobs or, like, won't let them, like, hire on to more respectable things, so they turn to crime. What else are they supposed to do, you know? Uh, let's see. Mm, nobody seems to care that I'm a paladin, though. Ooh. Let's see if I can read Kaga's mind, actually. Nope. Yes, I get it. I get it. Mmm, sure. I do actually really want to know. Nope. Alright, not gonna do it. You intrude on the circle. You intrude on my mind. Oh, they know. More proof that outsiders must never be trusted. Dang it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. Um. Your snake is prepared to kill this child. Do you want her death on your hands? Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. <laughs> I thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce. So she's just bullying everybody. Save Arabella. I think I did. It says. This is interesting that you could uh, get ask the goblin priestess for help. I don't know why you would. I hope I haven't, like, ruined everything by doing that. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. Okay. It's just something I have to live with. Um, how badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Yikes. Oh, are you sure it's not connected to the temples? Positive. You can trust me on that. Can I trust you on other things? Turn other matters. Hmm, I want to have a word. A deep elf in our grove on this day. A sign, or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful brood mother than a beloved child of loss? Ah, uh, that's a big assumption. Yeah, excuse me. Um, we have nothing in common. I have no love for the Queen of Spiders. Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. So she's straight up evil if a she likes. Her bears her fangs, defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the right is resumed. We will seal the grove. Oh, that's free why. Home, free of intruders. That's why the girl stole it because she didn't want to get kicked out. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. Okay, there's an option. Before final prayer. If they are not, what? the viper must strike. You'll kill them? Uh, I kind of just want to kill her, but... You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded.
You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Oath of the Ancients. Interesting. My oath often aligns with the Tree Father's will, even not abide child slaughter. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Oh, oh, he just he just said that. She's right there. Kaga seems happy to rule. No. How did we already know that? How did Kaga take over the whole grove? She is first druid in Halsin's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins. None may gainsay, but more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. No, I was looking for Halsin, I could. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. I would give anything for your guys' outfits, they're cool. No need to fret, Sylvanas I'll find him. blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. I also love your, uh, Halsin is an elf thing. with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. <laughs> I don't think I will. Stay close. Oh my gosh, is your wolf name? Can I talk to your wolf? <gasps> no, I'm friendly. I am a friend. I have Oath of the Ancients. Thorv's fur bristles. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. Oh, he's a blind old dog. It's all right. The wolf bears his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. I He'll chase you down if not for his master. I rolled an 18, and you're telling me that's all I get? Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. I am curious as to why they even let people in at all. It was probably, I mean, obviously. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. You guys are assholes. But it was just a kid. I, apparently, there is a child crime ring in here, which is not a nice way to, like, you know, say thank you. To the people who let you in, but oh, I can't even. I can't even read. I can't read it. Dang. I see you. Just give me a moment. Wait patiently. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now what? Trial. Hello. <laughs> Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. We're not all jerks. Where did you see another drow? That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? You're the one who brought up being a drow in the first place. Uh, healing looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Oh, okay. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm very... Oh, wait, good way of putting this. I uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? I know. I do think uh, it's they probably don't want mind flare tadpole people in here because we could turn into an illithid at any second. Uh, you know of them? Can you help me? I. Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. That'd be cool. I would not have expected it. We need to be quick. Also, honestly. This way. I thought it was just gonna be like, no, I can't. You'll have to go to the crash or something. Wait, is that? A Don't worry about him on it the table. Oh, I'm not in the habit of killing. Drow. Why is there a dead drow on the table? He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Oh, tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Oh. 
he and I have the same kind of parasite? It seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. <laughs> It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. Uh, I'll go get him too. Don't worry you about it. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily. Oh. Hesitating. Something's off. Are you trying to do something? But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Uh. It might. What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. Hmm. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Come on. Hey, yeah. Um, I can merge my mind with anyone that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. In a ship. In a mine ship. Yeah. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. What's that noise? Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. All of us have a parasite, by but the you way. You seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Yeah, what about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. Oh. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Figures. Now, do I have your word or not? Sure. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. I'm sure it'll you know, be useful. I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, ah. trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Eh? <laughs> uh, what do you... I mean, I thought there was like a... It seemed like there's maybe a time limit. But maybe in the ship you had to pull a lever. You had to be in the, th the thingamabob. You had to be in the, the pod. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Eh, so he was my dad. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. It hasn't been seven days. It's been like two. You think it's only a matter of time, or... You said you were tracking other victims, did they change? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. I think she's a moon when goddess. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. There's a wizard that Whatever wants that. Whatever he found there. He didn't make it back. It's interesting. I wonder if the wizard's associated with whatever the mind flayer people are, or if the wizard's trying to prevent people from getting a hold of whatever's in there. Uh, you think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without 
goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Oh. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. The goblins won't? If you can find Halton and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Um, mostly, uh, I thought she was saying they're one of your people, like, I'm a drow, and so I should get along with the goblins, and I was like, oh. But apparently it's because she thinks all the goblins are infected with mind parasites? Um. Alright. Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those I like adventurers her. know what happened out there. I already asked him. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your own. I am a paladin. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Empty socket. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than seromorphosis, nonetheless. Is that what I just I just said that? Wowza. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Can I? I just. A loath sworn drow. Could you tell me about why there is a drow on your table? Is that a, is that a thing you could do? Because that would be super awesome. I can't believe this woman's letting that other woman out there be dumb. Exhausted bird. Hey, tell me why you have a dead drow on your table. Any word on Master Halson? No. Please hurry. For both your sakes. Oh gosh, everyone's making me stressed. I Sylvanas, I just want my bed. Oh yeah, I feel you. I slept for like eight hours last night. It was awesome. Jeez Louise. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff, uh, to patron people. So I'm paying attention and I'm including that. So really quick, I wanna say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of you, including the acorns. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support at the acorn tier patron. And thank you so much, Fane, for your support at the acorn tier patron level. Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.